start from the beginning so that you will know the reason why I even tested the woman first. All right, so my intention or my dream was to be a soldier for a very long time. So I discussed it with my dad and he agreed on it. The plan was when I complete SHS, then we start the process. But the unfortunate thing is, my dad passed on before I completed the SHS. So at that particular moment, seriously, I didn't know who to reach out to so that the person would help me out with the processing and stuff. So just last year, December, I was following this woman too on Instagram for a couple of years now, which she used to post stuff on military, what is going on in the service and stuff. So I was like, okay, this woman has been posting online. And when you read her bio to on IG, she's a military nurse at 37 Military Hospital, which even she told me personally, she said like, yeah, she is a military nurse at 37 Military Hospital. So I discussed my problem with her, that this and this is my problem. But my father couldn't survive, so now I don't know who will help me out. So I'm pleading with her if she could help me out in this situation. So what she told me was, oh, like she even felt sad for my situation and stuff. So she told me, say, okay, she's a nurse, but she knows some of the higher authority members, so that which they can help me out. So I should give her some few time. She will try to reach out to them. If she's able to get them, she'll get back to me. I was like, okay, I'll pay them. So the following day, I tested her back and she said, uh, okay, she was able to reach some of the people. So she forwarded one of the person's number to me. And I was like, okay. So she sent me the number, which I called. When I called, the person was a man. So I spoke with him. I spoke with him. I was like, um, I was chatting with Nanaya sniper, and this and this, this and this and this. What I told her, and she was like, okay, she will reach out to you. So in case of anything, she will get back to you. So and she gave me your contact to call you so that you starting. When she was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She called me yesterday, and you know? I okay. So we spoke for a while. I introduced myself to him, and he also did the same thing. So what he said was, he can help me out, but um, it's going to be a protocol. And I know everything which is protocol involves money. And I was like, yeah, I know. So he says, first of all, I have to buy the forms. That's the first stage. I have to buy the forms so that he would send me the link so that I will input my data and forward it, forward it to him. So on that day, I sent him the 300 CDs. That's the, for the farm's fee. I sent him 300 CDs on that day. So he sent me that link to enter my details and send it to him back, of which I did the same thing. So on the next day, that he called me said, OK, we are going to start the process now. So the people who are going to initiate the process say they will take me thousand five or something. And I was like, okay, for thousand five, I'm pleading with him. It, it, it's quite huge. So he should ask for a taxi for me. Of which he said he will call me back maybe in a few minutes, of which he did. So when he called me back, he was like, okay, he has spoken to the people. The they are saying said their last amount that they will take will be thousand CDs. Okay. But but the thing is, I was so desperate to get a job. I was just willing or doing anything to get a job. So I sent him the thousand CDs, making thousand three hundred CDs. So the next day, I called him in the morning and I greeted him and said, oh, we are on the process. So whatever will be the case, he will get back to me then we should continue. I said, okay. So I was there in the evening, um, getting to the afternoon. 
he called me and he was like, okay, they are done with that stage two. They have to go to another process. And I said, okay. So he was like, when you went to the office, they said, said they will take him th- um, 200, 2,000 CDs. I was like, wow, 2,000 CDs, that's too much. So he should speak with them so that they will come reduce their money for me so that I can also pay because although I, I need a job but please they, they should this um, reduce the money for me which he spoke with them and they did so I paid thousand CDs again fast forward <coughs> I was there and he called me again that they are done with that process so they are going to do another process Okay, they are done with it. So, like now, a left is the person who will endorse my documents for me. So that one, too, the person is taking three hundred cities before he will endorse it. Even that money, by then my money was finished. Like I was just getting down because the money that he was asking for it was huge, everything thousand plus. So even that three hundred cities, I went to borrow it from someone, and I paid it. So. The thing is, I also later on I realized that because I've paid this amount of money and so I haven't done anything. I was getting scared, so I discussed this with one of my friends and he told me, sir, I should tell the man that I would like to visit him with my mother. Then let's see what he will say if he is someone who is legit he will ask me to come so i did the same thing i i asked for permission to come and visit him with my mom so when i did that she was like he was like okay he will give me a time so that i will come and see where he stays and stuff getting to three days i didn't hear from this man so I was very, very scared. So I reached out to the woman again. The woman that I met, then he gave me that contact. So I, I was like, mom, so this and this. And he was like, okay, maybe they are busy. So they are doing stuff because it is December too. They will be deploying some of the armen to various villages and stuff for one or two things. And I was like, okay, I'll fail me. <coughs> but where are the points that made me so I say like they are scamming me was the WhatsApp number that the woman gave me because they go to a point I was asking for the woman's number so that I think I can call her to hear from her. So she told me say <coughs> sorry she told me say she is a married man married woman so like she doesn't want to share like her contact to so and I was like okay for a married woman come put there and I will not be talking to her plenty, so... But later on, she gave me a certain number to be WhatsApping her. Only WhatsApp. Even that number, because if you called, it won't go through. So she gave me that number, and the man who gave me WhatsApp number. So this is why I got to know that the people are scamming me. When I sent WhatsApp message to one of them, you see, if someone is online and sends me a message, it will take two, but it won't be blue. When I sent one message, it won't take anything. It will just take one. But the moment one of them comes online, then you see say it has take two. So the man will come and reply his message. Then he will wait uh, maybe for a couple of hours or even the next day so that the woman too will reply his her message I, I did that for continuously three days and i go to know so no, no 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 it is the same person who is using those two numbers because when you send this one message the moment this one comes online all the messages will take two two one will reply other one won't reply the next day when you, when i ask her oh i said oh, so you, the person will tell me like, the man will be telling me say oh he was busy and that's why he couldn't reply my messages and I said okay.
so it's continuous like that for like a couple of days and i saw no 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 it is the same person who is using this contact or those two contacts so i was very very like i broke down zero because the money that i was having it was my school fees i have to pay this i have to use it to pay my school fees and that time too i had an admission which i have to pay the school fees <coughs> so later on for weeks later that i didn't hear from him again he called me one afternoon and he was like oh he is sorry he couldn't call me and stuff he was very very busy and i said okay so now how how is the process now can we come to his place and i was like oh no he said oh now even everything is okay so they are asking us to come for medicals so for the medicals and he gave me a deadline which the deadline is for only one week so i have to pay the medical fee within that week if i refuse to pay that money or if i couldn't pay that money everything i've done will be wasted so i have to pay the money like immediately which was 2500 for medical fee and i told him said boss um please at least i've paid some of the money let me say i've paid half of the money so this 2500 okay i'll get it to pay but i'm pleading with you let me come to your office or your house to pay the money so that i will see where you are or i will even see who i'm dealing with he was like no like he's busy he will give me time to come so that me i should just send the money he will do everything for me I was like, boss, this one, I, I don't think that you should do it that way. Because at least I've sent you a couple of money. So please, let me come to your place with my mom so that you do things. So like, you, you know each other. In case of anything, I can just come to your house. That's when the man starts to back off. For now, if I call him, he won't answer my calls. When I test, he won't reply. Like, he... he was it's not easy that was when i got to know say it is the same person who is doing that so he scammed me four thousand cities which i have to use it to pay my school fees and my hostel fees and stuff you see but i don't know if i should blame myself or i should blame him because the thing is at that particular moment life was very very hard it's only my mom who who takes care of us when we are four so i was just finding ways and means if i could get the service so that i can help my mom for us to take care of my siblings see because i'm the elderly person i'm the elderly person but my mom too like bro the serious life hard so i was just trying all my possible best to maybe to get somewhere so that i'll just help her to for us to take care of the younger ones you see so like i, I was very very desperate to, to to get the service at least um although i wasn't joining it because like or with intention of money i needed the service to join although when you enter they will start paying you and stuff but that wasn't the motive behind me joining the forces i had passion for it and i was finding ways and means or who will help me out but unfortunately for me, I contacted the wrong person rather due to my displacement. I was very, very desperate. You see, and I don't know if nothing has ever happened to you before. If you are desperate for something, like whatever you do to get that thing, you will do it. You will only realize when you know that the thing will help you. By then to maybe you've done something that you shouldn't have done. You see, so bro, that, that's how everything started and the, I don't even know if I should say the man or the woman go to scam me with that 4,000 cities. You see, for, even for now, but even if I called him, he won't pick. And so bro, that, that, that's how everything started. But that's what I was saying. I don't know if I should blame myself because I was very, very desperate. And when I look at my mom's situation too, she, like he did, she did suffer, she alone, you before too. And you know, living in her class too, boss, you know how the situation is hard. 
so i was just find trying to find some ways and means to like to help her at least if i'm i'm working i know say by all means monthly i'll get something if i get i can use it to pay my uh, my siblings fee and stuff so that she will be she will be taking care of maybe the food that you go chop and stuff but it couldn't happen that way i rather got scammed for money that i have to use to pay my school fees which i think said i was doing the right thing you see and when it happened that too i couldn't tell my mom because when i tell the serious she like she would bro- like she would break my head so i kept it to myself i whipped like three days it was it, it's very sad but after all it has happened yeah. i don't know who to blame whether i should blame myself or i should blame the people so boss please that, that's how my story is so that's why i was trying to ask you if you could help me reach out to the migration officer because serious I, i'm still i'm still like I, I want i want the job i still want it so please if you or you can also talk to him so that he, he can help me out i will be very very grateful i will be very very grateful your story is very heartbreaking and it's very 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 sad for a young man like you a young guy like you to go through what you've gone through i mean your four thousand ghana cities is gone you're being duped because you wanted to join the military and this is your school fees and your hostel i mean money that's the part that broke my heart completely and the fact that you said you're not from like a rich family that you can go back to your parents and say oh i need another money because this has happened to me i feel very sad honestly my heart is completely broken but why did you send the money to the man when you never met him before didn't you i mean didn't you request for maybe a picture a video his working environment or to meet him before you send the money to him because i'm thinking if you had told him that i want to meet you before i give the money to you i send the money to you he might not proceed because he knows if you meet him you get to know that he's a fraud and obviously like you said you were desperate so i understand that but if you can why didn't it come to you that you should meet the man before you send you you, you hand the money over to him and then you said you met the woman via social media that's instagram and then she gave you the number of the man but later you realize that it was the same woman via your whatsapp chat and the the way the messages are delivered on time and i mean in different times and stuff you realize that it was the same woman playing the role of the man whose number he gave to you but you were communicating with the man on phone as well you were calling him right so would you say the woman was rather working with somebody like uh, she has a, a teammate she works with which is the man so they they connive together to do people or it was the woman that is so smart enough to change her voice to a man anytime you speak to her on phone and then play double character just to dupe you uh and then before you leave us boys what would be your your words uh that you want to leave for the youth because honestly speaking a lot of the youth are desperate a lot of the youth are desperate my i mean everybody is desperate in accra in ghana in the world in africa these days so People are looking for easy ways to make money, easy ways to enter places. And I think that's where a lot of people are being duped. What would be your words that you want to tell the youth? Okay, so you were asking me why didn't I ask for a picture of the man or his working environment or something. But yes, I'm, I really understand your point. But one thing is was, um, what we call poverty. You see, poverty will let you do something that you won't think twice until you are done or until that thing is over before you can think twice. Why am I saying this? Imagine a hungry man. A hungry man is looking for food and someone offers me food. You won't think twice whether the food is being poisoned or is being contaminated. You won't realize until you are done eating. So that was my situation. You see, I, as I was saying, I was very, very desperate for the job. So when the woman said that, I didn't even think twice. I, like, I don't know. I just trusted the woman on that spot. 
So I didn't even think twice that maybe he will end up, um, or she will end up duping me or like something. You see? So it was later on that everything, when everything got busted, I sat down and was asking myself this question. Why will I have to send money to someone that I don't even know from anywhere? I just chatted a person online and everything got started. I don't know where. You see? So, <clears throat> that is it. That is it. Like, poverty will let you do something that you won't think about it twice until you are done. You see? So, basically, that, that is how it is. I didn't even know the reason why, first place. I didn't even ask about any information or background or value of it before sending the money. You see? And secondly, you were asking of um, of the person holding and uh, managing the account. So, um, so for now, what I'm thinking is that uh, I think that uh, um, there are two. The woman is handling the accounts, and his or her partner in crime is that man. That's what I'm thinking, because whenever I call the man, the man answers the call. If he tries to change his voice to something. I'll maybe find out, but whenever I call, like the person talks like an elderly person. Now you could hear, say, like, yeah, the person is very mature, like, you could hear from his voice. So, that, that is what I'm thinking, say, the woman is handling the account, but whenever he gets or she gets the client, then he will give that man's number to you so that he rather will deal with you. You see? So, I think that they are the two, they are the two people doing that thing. It's not only one person, they are two. So when you reach out to the woman, then the woman would rather give the man's number to you so that he would rather deal with you. Because the woman will tell you that she's a mess, but she's having someone at those higher positions, something that they can help you with the process. You see? So that, that's what I'm thinking for now. And we're asking of my or my advice to the younger one you see although for now the system is hard but what i would say or from my experience what i would say is we shouldn't rush in life it's hard yes but we shouldn't rush we should stay focused may be any bro be added don't go for it after me main person be to be so like everyone should be vigilant out there see this is what i can say for now thank you thank you very much my boss for coming out to willingly share your story uh your encounter so that others can learn from it it is not easy what you, you you're going to you're a student and all that and all this money being taken from you because you wanted to just taste your passion the things you love you wanted to be a military officer i mean it, it is very very heartbreaking uh guys i mean like the program is about we continue to share encounters so that we can all learn from one another so please when you're doing transactions out there be careful so that you don't send money to the wrong people and all that uh please subscribe to the youtube channel right in chat so just the channel two two three one anybody that you can do let's continue to share these encounters among different different people so that we can learn i mean from our mistakes from each other's mistakes to correct life when we are going forward on twitter you can find me right in chat on instagram you can dm me right in chat world and on tiktok right in chat god bless you for watching my name is Dr. Sam once again. Until we meet again in the next episode. Bye-bye.